One day, a man decided to travel by ship with his friends. While in the middle of their journey, the boat began to sink. Everyone tried to escape by swimming, but it was all in vain. All drowned except this man who succeeded in clinging to a floating object. With the effect of strong winds, the object took him very far, to a small island where there were no men or animals, just a few insects. With the sweat of his brow, he managed to build a small box entirely made of straw. He stayed there for several days eating fruits and began to get used to his new life of suffering, even if he did not get used to it. He eventually began to lose all hope of seeing his family again any day. Every night, he lit a fire in front of his house to warm himself. One evening, as usual, he lit the fire. He stayed there for a long time until he dozed off. Late in the night, he was awakened by an overwhelming heat. It was his straw hut that caught fire. He cried, accusing and blaming God, shouting, Oh God, what have I done to you to hurt me this way? You separated me from my family to bring me to this deserted island. Then you killed all my friends and now you let my hut burn. Why are you so hard on me? It is better to die because I am tired of living in this suffering. But at dawn, he saw a small boat coming towards him. When the boat landed, he ran straight for the captain and said to him in astonishment, Captain, how did you get here? No boat can get there unless he gets lost. The captain replied, In the night we saw a fire and we thought it was a burning boat, and we did not arrive immediately because the journey was long. We thought that you used the fire in order for us to find you. The man cried, fell on his knees and asked God for forgiveness, and he got into the boat and went home and reunited with his family. Lesson God has many ways of solving our problems. You can lose a job and think that God has left you when he wants to give you a better job. Your friends can leave you. Do not believe that the Lord has rejected you. He wants to keep you away from bad companies. Do not curse your God even if you suffer. Keep faith and hope. He will act. This message is a blessing. Do not keep it. Please do as I have done. Send it to all those who are dear to you.